Hey, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve your click-through rate. So if you guys want to improve your click-through rate, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really simple. It's just testing. That's all it is. So go into your account that you're, work that you're working in and go to the ad group level. And what we're going to do is go through right down the list of each ad group and we're going to do some testing. So the first thing is go into your first ad group, look at the data from the last 30 to 60 days. We have all time because this campaign barely has data. Go into your ads and remember you should have three or four ads running in each ad group at all times. Don't have more than four. It's my opinion. I think it's a waste of your time. And what you're going to do is look through the data and we're going to be optimizing our ads based on conversion rate, not on click through rate. Okay. Cause we want we, the ultimate goal of running AdWords for all of us is getting leads. Not if just, we have a great click, click through rate. That's if you're not getting leads, it's pointless. So if we want to improve our click through rate, what we're going to do is look at the data and we're going to say, all right, well, this one has 17%. It's converting. Well, that's a winner. This one may have three clicks and have a CTR of uh, 5% and no leads. That's a loser. There's no leads. This one may have three clicks, click through rate of 2% and have one lead. That's a winner. I, I know it sounds crazy, but <clears throat> you got to optimize based on what's converting. So basically the whole point is you're going to come in every 30 to 60 days or it really depends. It could be every 7, 14 or 30 days. We do every 30 to 60 days because it's better to optimize ads with, a, with more data, more data set. So you can tell, guys, like we have no, there's five clicks here and it's all one ad. So if, if, if this is a normal campaign that we're running all the time, there would be like, you know, 20, 30, 100 clicks, whatever. And then you'll have more stuff to optimize. But basically the whole point of everything here is you're going to come in, you're going to see which ads are the winners, which ads are the losers. You're going to pause the losers and you're going to create new ads to run against the winners. That's it. That's how you, that is how you get a higher CTR and a higher conversion rate. That's it. There's nothing else to it. And I don't know why people don't understand that. And, and here's a tip too: if you um, if you're if you're wanting more phone calls, something you might want to try adding into your ad groups. Maybe do three text ads and one call only ad. You could drop a call only ad that's only going to show on mobile searches. That could be pretty powerful too. We do this for a couple of our limo guys. It does really well. And um, if you don't know how to set up a call only ad, it's really simple. I'll just walk you through it real quick. You put the business name, you put the phone number that you want. Basically, this is a destination phone number where the calls are going to go. Just one thing to note, make sure the phone number you put here is the phone number that is on the URL of the page because Google's bots are going to crawl that page and make sure that the number that you're using is on the page. Very important. So you do business name, phone number, description. And guys, when you're doing description stuff for call only ads, make sure that you have like, you got to have a crazy good hook. You can't just say, get a quote called uh, John's roofing. Like, you got to have something crazy. All right. You got to stick out, especially because you're going to be, you know, competing with a lot of other people on mobile. Calls are worth a lot more. So description, description line two, usually for description line two, I do like, I do my hook and description line one and then description line two, I'll do something like serving areas serviced or areas serving or whatever. And I list out all the locations that I'm targeting. So it kind of makes the ad more relevant to someone who's on their phone and looking. That's just a cool tip right there to try. Uh, do your display URL verification, turn call reporting on, use it as an ad extension call for conversion and hit save. And then you just put in, now you're running a call only ad in with your text ads. Now these ads are already mobile by default. What am I doing? There we go. Nope. What do I want to show you? Here we go. So these ads, our, our regular text ads are already mobile by default. You can see here what Google just automatically takes them and squeezes them into mobile. And then they show you desktop too. So that's important to know. All right. So if you guys have any questions, drop them below this video. And just make sure, guys, to pop your CTRs and your, your click-through rates or whatever, it's all testing. Just keep testing. And then do it on a consistent schedule, whether it's weekly, biweekly, monthly, whatever. That's the most important part. Check out the links in the description. I'm going to put some cool stuff in there for you. I'll drop a link to our free ebook where I show you how to optimize your AdWords campaigns for success. And also I'll put a link to our Facebook group. So hopefully I'll catch you guys in the group or in the next video.